But I also want to just emphasize the point that the prosecutor started off with the explicit statement that Donald Trump directed the $130,000 payment to Michael Cohen, because this hits at the heart of the extent to which Donald Trump was aware before the 2016 election, and even as he was reimbursing Michael Cohen in 2017, about what he knew and where he knew that his money was going. Because if folks will recall, when it comes to Stormy Daniels specifically, in January of 2018 is when the Wall Street Journal first broke the story of the Stormy Daniels Michael Cohen arrangement. Again, that was January 2018 after the reimbursement checks had been made. Fast forward four months after that, in April of 2018, Donald Trump was finally asked about that $130,000. I want to read you. It was He was on Air Force One when a reporter asked, did you know about the $130,000 payment to Stormy Daniels? Trump replied, no. When asked again, he added on, quote, you'll have to ask Michael Cohen. Michael is my, uh, my attorney. You'll have to ask Michael. So already the prosecution is prepared to make the case to this jury that Donald Donald Trump had instructed this payment to go forward, something that Donald Trump, months after the story broke, actively denied in public. So this already is hitting at the core of questioning Donald Trump's credibility in the mind of the jury.